A few months back, I made a video on how to pick glasses for Asian faces, and it did surprisingly really well on YouTube. So in this video, I actually want to expand on that video, and if you haven't watched it, I'll link it down below. But I want to go over specific frames. I'll show you different ones, try some on, and be able to show you what I particularly look for in finding glasses for my unique face. I always thought that there was something wrong with my face face whenever I tried glasses in the past just because I felt like nothing fit me it looked weird or they hit my cheeks slid down my nose and I just thought I didn't have the face for glasses I just kind of resorted to over wearing my contacts which as you can guess didn't really lead me into a good path so I was forced to wear glasses again but I found the glasses that actually fit my face and it changed my world ever since then. So I want to go over my best tips and tricks in finding glasses for an Asian face. And what I mean by Asian face, and you don't have to be Asian, many different ethnicities have similar features to an Asian face, which are a shallow bridge of the nose, so a smaller shallow bridge, which is this area of the nose and where the glasses would sit, larger cheeks, overall kind of a larger head and then smaller eyes so because of these features sometimes it's really hard to find glasses especially plastic or we call them acetate glasses that fit well on the face that don't slide down and don't hit our cheeks so i'll show you some different frames and please keep watching i think the number one thing for anybody in finding glasses is to kind of look at their general face shape and be able to get a sense of okay what do i want to accentuate with my features and what do i want to tone down for my particular face shape i have very large cheeks i have kind of a squared off jawline and a pointy chin pretty big forehead. I call it a five head. <laughs> I have a really big forehead. Certain things that I want to accentuate are actually my high cheekbones. I do like how high my cheekbones are. I want to be able to kind of tone down the angularity of my jaw, but kind of accentuate the pointiness of my chin. There are certain things that you want to look for in glasses that will help or kind of tone down some of the facial features you particularly have. So I'm going to show you some of the frames that I have here. My favorite all-time brand of glasses is TC Charton. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, it's French. So we just call it TC Charton here in the office because we can't speak French. But I want to show you some of the things that they do to the nose pieces in their plastic frames. So if you look at these frames straight on, you can't really tell that they're really that different besides kind of the shape and the color. But if you look at them from the side, this is actually really flat in terms of the buildup of the nose pieces versus this one, which is really built up for the nose. So if I were to put this pair on, this is the one that doesn't have the nose piece built in, it will actually sit right here on my face. So it, there's no way that I would be able to see out of that if I chose these glasses, as beautiful as they are. Um, so I do need to have this build up in my nose, probably not this much, but this is still a great setup for me. So if I put these on, they actually sit on my face and my cheeks are not touching. And this is a big test too from my other video I mentioned. You gotta smile as big as you can and make sure that your cheeks are not touching this bottom edge of the frame. Or if they are, that it's very slight and you're not too bothered by it. What I also like to look for is the width of the frame. My face is kind of wider on this side, especially because my cheeks. So I do want the width of this the frame to go a little bit past where my cheekbones would be. So I like how the width is on this. And a big thing in how to tell what size you have in glasses is if you look at the first number that they have on the temple. I don't know if you can really see that, but there is a first number on this and the number is 56. I really think the 56 is a perfect size for me, which is the width of the lens of the frame. The second number is the bridge. So the bridge on this is 15. And I like a narrow bridge because it makes my nose seem slimmer. 
and that's a little trick. 15 to 18 is great for me. And the last number is 140. That's how long the temple length is, and 140 is pretty average, so I think that is pretty comfortable for where it sits around my ear. So I think these frames are actually perfect. I would purchase these, um, but I'm gonna show you some other ones that I really like. This is another one by TC. The sizing on this is smaller. It's a 55, but I think it still looks really good. It doesn't touch my cheeks. It has a good size bridge. It's It comes out enough. I still feel like the 56 is perfect. These seem maybe a little narrow for my taste, but it's a great shape and size. 16 bridge, which is the width of the bridge area between the lenses in here, and then 140 for the temples, the length of the temples. So this is another great pick. This one, another TC frame, it's a beautiful cat eye frame. My office manager, Penny, actually wears this exact frame, but it's called Kate. It's a 57, which is pretty big, but I still feel like it's a great width for me. And with cat eyes and a kind of a bigger cheekbone area, I like to go with cat eyes that have a little less of an angle right here. So these actually sit nicely on my cheekbones in terms of how it kind of shapes around them. Um, I don't wanna go too high in terms of the angle because it really makes my cheeks stand out a lot. So I like to go a little bit kind of halfway between my cheeks in the angle of the cat eyes that I like. And this is a great one too. I feel like it's a little wide for me, but for a cat eye, that's perfect almost if it's a little bit wider because um, the cat eye is mostly, the width is right here. So this one's another great frame. Those were all plastic and they all fit me, which was never the case. And I am so happy I found out about TC. I also have topology here in the back, which I love as well in terms of creating custom frames for myself and anyone who needs a very particular sizing for their own facial features. So it makes it extra unique and extra customized. Um, but TC does an amazing job in terms of how they build up their nose piece, which I feel like 90% of the time is the issue with a lot of other frame lines out there is that they don't have enough of this build out in their plastic frames to fit kind of smaller shallow noses. So that's a, a nice thing with TC. And I'll link their website down below if you're interested in checking out their collection. So let's talk about metal frames. In particular, this shape. So this is a round frame. And I think round glasses are so classy. They look beautiful on a lot of face shapes. Even round faces look amazing in small round frames. It just kind of creates this balance on the face. For me, I like this kind of style where if they're round, having them smaller on the face actually looks really good. So even though these are not as wide as how I would typically go in terms of glasses that are kind of shaped like that. Because these are round, I can get away with it. And I really love how cute this looks. So it all really depends on the look you're going for and your personality. But I feel like round frames that are a little bit narrower and smaller look really good. Let's say you have a larger head size and width this way, or your cheeks are really wide this way, like mine are. There are sometimes sunglasses that look amazing, but not sunglasses sizing in a clear pair, if you know what I mean. So you would probably be able to find tons of sunglasses that fit your face width-wise, but not as many clear pairs. One trick is if you find a pair of sunglasses you love, and they fit really well, but you're looking for a clear pair, is ask the store associate to pop out these lenses. And yes, you can do this. You shouldn't really do this yourself in the store. Ask someone to do this for you, but you can pop out these lenses. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I just popped out the lenses, and now you can try them on as a clear pair. And I love these as a clear pair also. I would probably buy them as sunglasses too, but as a clear pair, if I was really looking for something, this is what I would pick. 
And the size for this is a 56, my perfect size, 18 bridge, which is great, 145 millimeters for the temple, which are a little bit longer than what I would usually do, but for these frames, it's perfect. And I can either go with them as sunglasses or a clear pair. As a clear pair, just have your lab, your optical, put in lenses for you that are clear. Um, I highly recommend getting the anti-reflective coating with the blue block protection. Those two things really clear up your vision, especially at night when you're driving. But then also when you're working a lot on your computer, that blue light filter really helps prevent eye strain and having trouble sleeping. So I'll go over blue light in a whole nother video. So please consider subscribing and click on that little bell next to it to be notified when we post our next video. But that is definitely a big topic I wanna go over too. As far as Metal glasses, the big trick that works really well is to find metal sunglasses, have the associate pop out the lenses and try them on to see how they would look as clear ones. Big trick. Along those lines, if you did find glasses that fit you really nice, but you wanted them sunglasses, the lab can actually create lenses for you as sunglasses with polarization, with the tint of any color that you choose in your prescription. So don't feel like when you're shopping around that that because these are clear, they're only supposed to be clear, and because these are sunglasses, they're only supposed to be sunglasses, your lab, your optician can really design the lenses to be however you want. So don't be afraid to ask them to make clear lenses into sunglasses or to make sunglasses into clear lenses. I hope that was a helpful video for you and it kind of touches on some of the things that I've noticed for myself in terms of how to find glasses for my particular face. But if you have a very particular facial structure or you're wondering how to style frames for your features, please leave a comment down below. I would love to see those. And I would really like to make a video on that particular feature for the face in how to style frames for. So please give me a lot of ideas on that. If you ever had struggles in finding glasses that fit your face because of your facial features, please give this a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.